get it about. So first thing you want to do, always, 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 is boom. That is, put in your three pillars. What are your three pillars? Energetic coherence, central equilibrium, and unkink the hose. So first thing we're going to do is feel the balls of the feet. Knees are unlocked. So we're just by feeling with the balls of the feet, we open up the young Tron points in the balls of the feet and in the in the feet, the kidney one point, the bubbling well. And this allows us to access the yin chi of the earth. So there's a, a, a conversation going on there, and that is you're having energy from your body mind is exiting through the bubbling well. You're grounding that. At the same time, the yin chi from the earth is bubbling up through the kidney one points and filling your body mind with the yin chi. And then we're going to do the other half of the equation there, which is establish the yang chi connection, which is reached with the crown of the head. Tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. So what's happening here is kind of analogous to lightning. So lightning is generated whenever the electrical charge in the ionosphere becomes sufficiently uh, cranked up that it exchanges with the yin chi of the earth and it becomes this exchange between the ionosphere and, and the earth. And this is happening somewhere in the earth approximately 7.83 times a second. And it's called the Schumann resonance. So it's, it's, it's I, lightning is beating the atmosphere like a drum on the average about 7.83. At least that's what the number used to be. I don't know if it's still that way. So, and lightning, the visible part of lightning is the, is coming up from the earth. The energy is, is the insubstantial part It's coming down from the heavens. The substantial part is coming up from the earth. The part we see, it looks like the optical illusion is that it's coming down, but it's actually happening both directions and the visible part is coming up. And so that's what's happening here with your central equilibrium, your Zhong Ding. You're filling with lightning. You're, every time you do this, you're renewing your resources. So instead of expending your own chi and depleting your kidney chi, you're at the very least not depleting. And if you're doing it right, you may even be filling up. You may be turning back the depletion. Hoping the jade pillow gate is one of those kinks in the hose. The jade pillow gate is where we, if the chin is raised and we bunching up at the base of the skull, then there's a, a blockage. By reaching with the crown, tucking into the chin and lengthening the neck, we unkink the hose. So feeling the balls of the feet, reaching with the crown of the head, 
opening the jade pillow gate. Relax the lower back and allow your sacrum and your coccyx to drop, flattening out your lower back somewhat. So that you're flattening out that lordosis, the, the curve in the lower back. It's not a position you want to hold all the time. You want to be able to move in and out of that. But you also want to be able to feel that, that connection where you're holding the point on the coccyx, the way loop, holding that in opposition to the crown of the head. When you do that, you're opening space between the vertebrae. And you're allowing energy to move more freely along the, um, the penetrating vessel, which connects the, um, the hui yin at the, at the, between the legs and the bai hui at the top of the head. It also extends from there down the yin channels into the balls of the feet. So you're making this, this connection. So you're filling up. Reach with the clavicular notch. So you're opening the chest and opening the shoulders. Point your index fingers, feel those and establish your energetic coherence. So you're reaching down with the fingers. Reaching with the elbows. So here's another point that we're another kink in the hose that we're, we're unblocking that is in the shoulders just by reaching rounding the arms notice that the palms of my hands are pointing backward the the backs of my hands are are reaching forward feeling the fingers reaching with the elbows reach with the crown. And then you want to unkink the qua. So just boom, boom, you're spiraling down, turning, and just unlocking hip tension. So you're getting sung qua, you're sinking into that. As you Reach with the elbows, reach with the fingers. 